today we're going to be looking at these knives. <laughs> no, this is just a setup. We are going to be comparing these knives uh, in a future video, but for today, we're going to be looking at the IOshen. Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, JPM.Cuisine. I'm your host, JP, and today we're going to be doing our uh, our four month review of the IOshen by Master Grade. It is the nine and a half inch Gyoto or uh, chef's knife. Okay, so right off the bat, I, I think it comes in at about 267 grams. Um, it's nine and a half inch, let's find that balance. It is handle heavy, so the balance is right on the bolster uh, where it flares from the, uh, the metal itself. Nine and a half inches, very traditional Gyoto style profile. Contour belly all the way through. Um, doesn't really have a flat spot on the heel whatsoever. It does use the Erdon steel. Uh, but we're just going to get into some cutting and see how it how it performs. Uh, one thing I did want to make mention of is the handle itself is rather uh, large compared to or for my likings here. Uh, at the very butt end, we're looking at 17 millimeters, and then we're looking at a very thick uh, cross section here at 27 millimeters. Okay, um, so it is a blocky style. Contour, pinky groove right there. Belly's out. Good for a pinch up here. Larger hands are probably gonna find this one a little bit more comfortable. But more importantly, let's talk about that steel. So it's kind of stiff, sturdy, not a lot of flex in it. But let's see how the edges held up. So I got some onion here. But I got some tomato. So let's go ahead and cut into this tomato and see what we get. Now I'm gonna try and cut from the heel. I'm not gonna do a uh, any kind of slices on it in the air. Um, this one hasn't been sharpened, so we're just gonna see how it, it feels when we cut, so I'm just gonna cut it in half. Okay, so fairly sharp, still cutting through. Um, no pressure, really, to cut through. Let's see, I forgot, we, we've got the camera over here now. Um, yeah, it cuts through fairly easily from the heel. Let's try all the way to the tip. Yeah. Not much indentation. Like some videos I've seen where you have to push down or if you guys are familiar, you have to push down. This is very easy to cut through. Uh, the skin of the tomato. Um, and I've been using it for roughly four months or so. Um, Profile, not too bad, very similar or reminiscent of a Japanese style Gyoto. Um, let's see, yeah, bites in. So I haven't sharpened the edge, I haven't even honed it. Um, I've been using it as is, and it feels very comfortable in the hand for me to use in terms of sharpness. Not a lot of effort required. Um, it probably could use a little touch up. If I were to go very, very gently on the tomato, um, 
it doesn't actually grip in until that first third. So the heel and everything right here is where we start to see that first cut into the tomato. I'll show you guys again. Just grabbing it by the butt of the handle here. Okay. And we pull and then it cuts in. So edge retention, not too bad. I haven't tried sharpening it, so I'll sharpen it and let you guys know what I think of the Erdon. It's supposed to be a uh, softer Rockwell on the outside. I think it's just three ply or tri ply with a harder center, uh, very reminiscent of a VG10 or any other uh, metal that we're typically using for a chef's knife. Let's go ahead and move these tomatoes out of the way. I'll just cut through a few items. So we have an onion. Okay, we're gonna cut through with the tip. Effort there to cut through. Tip cuts were fine. They felt fine. Yeah, the edge has held its own over the four months plus. Let's go ahead and get into some more cutting. Move this over to the side. Got some celery here. This is actually gonna be for dinner. Seems to cut very well. Let's go ahead and cut this and split it. A little bit of a, a stagger there, trying to cut through. But in terms of chopping, if you're trying to use your profile, it's pretty comfortable. Stout, it's held up. Um, I can't remember what the price tag is, so I'll look that up and I'll, I'll show it here now. Um, but in terms of cutting and effort to cut after four months, there's a few spots that don't glide as, uh, as it did when it was brand new, but um, I think it performs very well. All right, let's see how we handle a carrot. This is where you'll see that first cut's usually a struggle. All right, so we have a little splitting there um, where we didn't get it precisely a, that clean of a cut. And then we'll use the heel pushing down. Check those, those are clean. Push through, clean. So depending on how you're cutting, um, definitely we'll cut through. It takes a little bit of effort. I think honestly that may not be an issue with the blade as it is the thickness of the of the uh, edge. It feels good enough, but yeah, I can definitely get it sharper. Um, so four months, it's not completely dull. I think the the telltale sign is the tomato. It cut through the tomato quite easily. I mean, if you watch some of my other other reviews. Uh, I've had knives out the box that struggle. Again, that doesn't mean that they can't take an edge, but in terms of how it maintains an edge, not too bad. I think for me, just some closing points on it. The handle isn't very comfortable for me because of the size of it, but I mean, honestly, when I pinch up, I'm not even using that much uh, the rest of the handle. So. The contour, none of that really comes into play unless I'm doing slicing with my thumb or with my finger on the spine. But even then, I'm still going to choke up. So this is where the length of the handle really has um, more impact if I'm trying to uh, chop. But even then, with my finger on the spine, I'm never chopping. I'm always doing a pinch grip when I chop. And if I need to, the uh, spot here is where I can use the leverage in order to get my chop, okay? So I'll be chopping in with that. Um, length of the handle feels nice. Um, actually, I like the length of the handle compared to sort of a, a Mac. The Mac knife is a little bit short of a handle, and so it doesn't feel, for me, like you get that um, much leverage when you're trying to do a rock chop. 
Uh, I think that's probably another reason why I prefer the Renaissance uh, over the Mac, but still very good. The spine is sort of rounded. It's at least polished, so there's no sharp edges on that. Uh, and the finish has held up. I don't see any kind of scratches or, or major marks that um, would be of concern. Uh, I don't know what you guys think about the tang. It is a full tang and it's got that Thai tang technique or whatever they call it, the Thai tang um, rivets that keep the, uh, the uh, plastic handle on. Um, but very traditional looking. For me, I think it's, it's definitely uh, not too bad. Again, I have to look at the price tag to tell you if it's a true value, but um, it's held up to the four months. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you watching. Sorry that this one's taking so long to come through, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed this quick look or re-look or revisit. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this quick revisit to the IO Shen by Mastergrade. All right. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.